Copper fam, it is Poet. Now we all know I'm a massive Arsenal fan. You see the badge on the arm, you see the badge on the shirt. And behind me is a man that made me support Arsenal, Mr. Ian Wright. And he's got a challenge here. It is called One More Game. And I have the opportunity to play at Wembley. Yes, he is trialing me and other YouTubers. And guess what? I'm winning today. I might even be having a bit of a conversation with him. I think I will. Copper fan, I do this for you. Come on, boys. Remember you have to pick a player in the playground? Everyone pick Ian Wright, all that 50 Ian Wrights on this pitch. Seriously? Get Turkish Ian Wright, get Black Ian Wright. <laughs> As you know, I am the biggest Arsenal fan on the planet and I'm not referring to the fact that I'm six foot five. So this here is a privilege. This means so much to me. Give us a hug, Giz. <laughs> what a legend, bro. Thank you so much, Poet. Talk to us about today. What's it all about? I want to do a game at Wembley where I was just going to get my Twitter followers to to come and play with me. The first time I've played at Wembley is the most amazing experience in my life. I want that feeling for everybody who goes out there. How would you assess my performance today? Just to start us off with the, the crossbar challenge and to hit the crossbar straight off the bat and then run off with the Henri Attrick Liverpool celebration. Away, I can't like top score for skills. I couldn't, I, I couldn't believe that. For me, this is a dream. Ian Wright just assisted me. That's mad to me. Right, you said I had the best finish though. You there. did! You had the spirit of Ian Wright then. Unlucky today because, like with the FA, um, and, and you know the two go through. You know what I mean? That's the problem I had when I was younger. I got, yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes I had the best, the better team, the better pairing, but people just knocked you off it and they gold hang, and then they nick the goal from there. Like That's the, what happened. I've knocked it past him, and obviously past him, and I'm used to the moment. The, the moment, the moment um, he's knocked you over like this. I'm out of screen now. It's just. But that's how it went. I had a good time it today. Was a good time. Let's a good talk time. about the good times that you had yeah. at Arsenal. I became a massive Arsenal fan in '96, but there was a lot of English players in the Premier League at yes. this time. Yes. Arsene Wenger comes. Mm -hmm. Then there's loads of foreign exports. I remember Patrick Vieira coming in, Emmanuel yeah. Petit, Christopher yeah. Reyes, Luis Boamortes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you play for Arsenal, there's one game, and every Arsenal fan will tell you it means so much. That is the North London Absolutely. derby. Absolutely. As on. an Englishman, how do you give that passion? To an individual who's not played in the Premier League before. I remember when I signed for Arsenal, me and David Rowcastle, we stayed up till four or five in the morning. We were talking about the derby. We were talking about what it means, what it means to the fans. And then as soon as any players come, you know what I mean? The, the first thing you teach them is, this is a big game. This is Tottenham. This is our main rivals. Yeah. I remember Patrick Vieira. David Dean tells a story about Patrick Vieira. He was learning his English. First thing we taught him was, Tottenham are shit. That's the first... <laughs> As a player, you've just got to tap into the rivalry, tap into the, what fans are telling you the week leading into it. The first fixture that the fans look for is the same first fixture that we look for as players. Give us your best Northumberland derby moment. Tony Adams, man, at Wembley, scoring the 1-0 after they beat Arsenal 3-2 with Gazza's goal. We mm -hmm. have comments from the Copper fam. They're the people right. that watch the show. I'm going to get into a couple of them now. Mm -hmm. So, first one is from Max. He said, which match would you rate as your best ever? Hashtag Ask Righty. My debut for, for Arsenal at um, Southampton in the league, where me and David Rollcastle, two broccoli boys, we beat them 4-0 and I scored that trick. David Rollcastle scored Jeez. one. It's the, those, those are fairy tale things. Armin's got a great question. He asks, which of the current players would you have loved to play alongside? Ozil. <sighs> Why? Because Ozil will find me. <laughs> Ozil, will, Ozil will find me. He'll find you now. Yeah, he'll find your ball right now. now. If a ball come and hit me in the head from somewhere, Ozil will it's have found Ozil. me. If you watch Ozil like I watched him the other day, just quietly and efficiently just doing some quality stuff, I know that the runs I would have made is not too dissimilar to him finding me like Dennis used to. We've got a question here from David McAnally. Decent question, this. Why are English teams failing to deliver in Europe? It's not something that's like, oh God, it's new that the English teams don't do well. All the times that we've won it, even when Man United won it in 99, no England teams got to the final and, and, and deserved to win it. When we get there, it's more often than not through, through a lot of luck and, for, and fortunate. 
the better players are in and around the Barcelonas and the Bayern, Bayern Munich. Munich. When they win, they win it, they dominate it. Listen, Ian Wright, thank you so much. Thank it's been you an so absolute much, pleasure to speak to you today. Thanks, Poet. I'm Poet, that's Ian Wright. This is Comments Below. Copper fam, we do it for you. No. <laughs> <laughs>